G'day Aquarius, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? Uh, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them if you are interested. Alright. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. That's one. And two. One more. One more, please. Nope. There it is. Okay. They have, ooh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh, Aquarius. I got the romantic feels for you. Keep an open mind. Your soul might make different from your usual type and expectations. Ooh. Keeping an open mind about you. And flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. So they might come in a bit flirty. Oh, what's at the bottom of the deck? Ooh, very soon. Clearly, clear, can't say the word. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Uh, so, yeah, they might just decide they want passion. Mm -hmm. Red flags. Worried about showing red flags because they want to spend some time with you, enjoying some holiday bliss with you. But they're optimistic. But you, mm, maybe you could be the one here that's a soulmate. Uh. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well. Hmm. Yeah, they might decide they just want passion with that flirting, but then hey, that time they spend with you changes their their thoughts about you. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's find out. Well, you probably already know because you what I've called the video, but I haven't worked it out yet. So. <laughs> okay, let's go. Romantic feelings. Why is it here for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please? Okay. All right. Well, we've got the Queen of Swords. This is your energy. The Page of Swords and the Star Card, which is your energy. They definitely got the romantic feels for you. <laughs> so they've got the feelings for you, wanting to come correctly here, wanting to know all about you. Seeing you as a shining star, I'm hearing. You're shining very brightly to this... This person, they want to know all about you. <coughs> Wanting to come correctly here. Knowing that you'll cut them out if they don't. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, wanting to come correctly to find out all about you. Because, um, yeah, yeah, they see you shining. They see you shining. Brightly. Ooh, page of cups. Perhaps a little bit of loving communication. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's immature page energy. And a bit of stability. Page of Pentacles. Ooh, looking for that Ten of Pentacles, though. Uh, Ah, but burdened by the fact they might have to wait. Ten of Wands and ten... Oh, we've got two tens. Ten and three of Wands. Burdened. Yeah, burdened by the fact they have to wait. 
Mm, wanting to talk about stability because they are looking for something long term. Feeling the burden of having to wait though for the stable action to begin. Hmm, burdened by this waiting for stability. Ooh, that would explain why they, yeah, they want <laughs> to start with the passion rather than the stability. Okay, hmm. A little bit of talk about stability though. Alright, tell me about keeping an open mind for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, wanting to invest in someone. Hoping, yeah, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So they're hoping that you're a little, that you're different, someone they can invest in. Different from what they've dealt with in the past, because that is reviewing the past and the seeds you've planted. So hoping that you're different to the people they've dealt with in the past. Eight of Wands. This is fast motion, but it is communication as well. It can be travel, but wanting to get, yeah, wanting to talk to you, wanting to get the passion, passionate communication flowing. Hoping that you're someone different to what they've dealt with in the past that they can invest in. The lovers, ooh, ooh the devil. The Fool and the Ace of Wands. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, looking for that soulmate connection. They have dealt with toxic connections in the past, but they're willing to take that leap of faith with a passionate beginning. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. They're going to dive in with the passion to start with and just hope that this turns out to something good. <laughs> mm, yeah, they hope it grows into something beautiful. Okay, tell me about flirt for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Ooh, seven of swords and the four of one, four of swords, sorry. Mm. Okay, so, yeah, coming in flirting, they know they could cheat themselves out of something good here, but they'd rather flirt with you than do nothing. Because they don't want to cheat themselves out of the opportunity of knowing you. So they will come in and flirt, even if there is a chance that they could cheat themselves out of this, um, rather than do nothing. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, because oh, yeah, they're looking for love. They are looking for love. They are looking for love. Ace of Cups. Mm. Yeah, but they know that, you know, it's not a... Yeah, it's probably not the best idea to come in flirting, but they don't want to not do anything. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands, yeah. Yeah, they want stable passion with somebody. They want love and stability, but they want to... Yeah, they're starting out with this passion. The flirting and the passionate action, yeah. They, they want this to charge forward fast. Their actions are going to be truth, truthful, though. So watch the way they act. Um, they do want this passion. They don't. Yeah, they don't want to wait. Yeah, waiting's a burden. <laughs> they want. They want the passion with you. They're turned on by you for sure. Yeah, they want this passionate stability fast, so they can get to the passionate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they are looking for love. They do want this. They are looking for love. They're flirting for love. 
They, but yeah, they're just a bit of a horny bugger. <laughs> they're just, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Woo. I think that one's first, and then that one. Okay, one more, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So they have worry. Ooh. No, they're saying that's the second card. Honesty. Okay. So we've got honesty, um, which is I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Then worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. And then empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay. Okay. So they're being honest with their romantic feelings for you. They, you know, they want to come correctly and learn about you that, you know, they see you as this bright star. Very sexy. <laughs> um, yeah, they'll be honest with you when they do communicate any feelings that they have. They are worried that, you know, they don't want to invest in dodgy people like they have in the past. There is that bit of worry about, you know, whether you're going to want to invest in this if it does have all this passion in it. Um they definitely see this from your side and know that, you know, flirting might <laughs> cheat them out of this love connection, but they don't want to do nothing. So, yeah, they can, you know, they see what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they see it from your side, but they don't want to miss the opportunity with you. So, yeah. Bottom of the deck, acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Health. I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And death. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. Denial. They're not. Okay. Yeah. That's no, just a four. Yeah. So, you know, I think here they're accepting the fact that they can't change the way they approach love. Um, they hope you can forgive them because they do come across with that flirty, passionate energy, which, you know, to most, you know, people who are looking for love, it's a bit of a red flag. But, you know, they hope that you can forgive them for that because they are looking for a healthy relationship. They are. Um, yeah, and they hope this doesn't bring an end to it, that it actually becomes a, be a new a beginning it is a beginning not an ending because of that yeah because of the way they're approaching <clears throat> all right Let's find out more. Tell me about honesty for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Hmm. Can't shuffle a bit. Both these decks, a couple of these decks, it's been a bit unco, <laughs> uncoordinated. All right. Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands. Okay. Okay, so they're going to be honest about um, any confusion or illusion or the, the, the choices that they make, the options that they have. They want to be honest with you that, 
you know, anything that they're unsure about, they want to be honest with you about any confusion or illusions. They just want to be straight up honest with you about these things that they're not sure of or they, um, any indecision that they have, any choices that they make. Yeah, they're going to be honest about anything that, that, you, that you might find confusing or any choices that are going to be made regarding you two. They're, they're just going to be straight up honest about it. Yeah, they're, you know, they're taking a leap of faith here and want to start from the beginning with honesty. Just leaping leaping, taking that leap of faith, to be honest with you, Knight of Cups, the Lovers, <laughs> Three of Wands, and the Magician, yeah, their actions will be loving, they are looking for this soul connection here, they know that, you know, they're gonna they are gonna have to wait for this to manifest into something more you know they're gonna they know they're gonna have to wait for this to manifest into this loving connection here, but they are gonna show actions of love they're gonna be honest with their actions with love yeah, just watch their actions I think more than. I mean, they want passion with you, but they're going to be honest about wanting this new beginning here. Honest about any of the confusion or any, you know. Mm, okay, I like that. Honest with you. There's a star card. All right. Tell me about worry for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're worried about how they're coming across because they are looking for a commitment here. They are worried that they're not going to get that commitment from you. That they're not going to appear to be stable, grounded, wanting a commitment. Yeah, they are worried that they're not going to show, you know, that you're not going to see that in um, temperance. Yeah, they worry that you're not going to be patient and wait and see that they do actually want that commitment with you. Three of Pentacles, High Priestess, Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. They, you know, they want to work on their, you know, they do want to work together with you. They might not say anything about it, but they're looking for beautiful love with you. Again, the actions of stability. Um, yeah, slow and steady. The st stability will come in with their actions, same as their love and their honesty. All of that is here in the actions of the night cards that we've seen. They do want this beautiful love with you. They may even have, well, they've got romantic feelings for you already. Wanting beautiful love with you. They may not say anything about it, but this is what they're working towards. And they are worried that you won't see that. Also hearing that they've had people flirt with them before that have been cheat line still and they've had to heal from that. So they are looking to, for actual love here. They know, that's why they know that flirting can be just what liars do. 
because they've had to heal from that before. But like I said, they'd rather take some action than take no action because they do want this love with you. And there it is again, that two of cups. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they want this love with you. Definitely. All right. Tell me about empathy for this love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. We have the Eight of Wands and the Devil card. Wow. Yeah, they can see this from both sides. They can see that lots of passionate communication can be a red flag. They see this from your side. And they don't want to come across toxic with just passionate communication. Yeah. Yeah, they're aware that this flirting, you know, all this passionate communication may look like they're just about passion and that's it. Yeah, uh, they're very tempted by you. They are very hot for you. But, yeah, they're aware of how they look. Yeah, but again, they are looking for a stability. Something stable, something loving, something long term. They want to show you that stability. Mm, five of Cups, Hangman, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, let's see. King to the Queen of Cups. Mm, they're really hoping that... Excuse me. Oh, it was a hiccup. Um, they're really hoping that you, you're not disappointed with them, that you don't feel like... Yeah, they've let you down or that, you know, they don't want to let you down. They 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 see this, that there's love here. See, they're turning around and looking at it. They don't want to disappoint you. They are, they do see that there can be, they want love here. They're hoping you can see this from a different perspective because they do want love and commitment here with you. Yeah, that is what they do want to offer you. They hope you don't reject their offer. Because of the way that they come across. Yeah. They really do want to come correctly towards you here. Yeah, j Like I said, just watch their actions. Their actions will be honest and truthful here. Yeah, there'll be actions of passion as well. But they want to move forward triumphantly. They, yeah, they want things to change from it being flirty. Look, yeah, from flirting to the Ten of Cups. Long term, I told you, I told you, <laughs> it's right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow, it's right there, I told you. I didn't know that Ten of Cups was under there, but I knew, <laughs> I knew what the message is through this, and it had, yeah, I didn't expect the Ten of Cups, but... <laughs> I was thinking something about loving, <laughs> yeah, something about love. But yeah, the ten, yeah, they want beautiful ten of cups with you. Come on, get up. <sighs> wow. Yeah, <laughs> they want they they want long term love with you. So don't be shied away by their passion, their s strong passion. And, yeah, their flirtiness, all right? All right, what would this love energy like to say to Aquarius? At least three cards, please. Oh, it come, came out and went back in again. Ooh, look at that. That's weird. Okay. Alright. Well, we'll go that one, then that one, then that one. Alright. No, they said swap them around. Okay. So they've got, I am not available. Hmm. 
they might act like they they might act like they're not available with the flirtiness. I need time to heal. But they want they want to heal that energy, yeah. They yeah. They don't wanna act yeah. They might act like they're just flirting and they're not really available, but they want to take the time to help heal that for you to see that they do want something real with you, you know. Them acting like they're not available is something that they want to heal with you. Um, they don't want you to think that of them. I'm going crazy without you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're crazy about you, is what I'm hearing. They're, they're crazy about you. They're crazy about you. It was hard for me to let you go. Yeah, it's hard for them to be without you. It's hard for them to... Um, not be with you. Straight away. I think they want to be with you straight away. And especially, it's hard for them to let you walk away. Because they're crazy about you. And that's what they they really want you to know. But them acting like they're flirty and, you know, that they want to heal that. They want you to know that they are crazy about you and they don't want you to walk away thinking... That they're not available because they're just some, you know, they're not looking for something long term. They are. They're crazy about you. All right. Bottom of the deck. I'm afraid of commitment. I don't think they are at all. I'm keeping you a secret. You feel like home. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah. I think this is, again... They they act like, you know, they're flirting and they're not interested in commitment. But the secret is they are. You feel like home to them. They want to build a beautiful home with you. Um, and they wish they could, you know, wish they had, you know, come across better to you. Could treat you better like from the start, but I don't think they're really sure how to express that. I just think they're extremely passionate about you, but the the passion is like, over the, you know, they're crazy passionate about you. Crazy passionate about you. Crazy, lustful, passionate. One, yeah, very horny about you. <laughs> um, and they're just coming across with that energy, but they're looking at you for long-term and commitment and love and stability. They're looking at those beautiful things with you for a real relationship. But the only way they know to, to come forward is with this passionate energy. All right. Like I said, just watch their actions and, you know, how they treat you. Because, uh, I mean, they're going to come across flirting and very passionate and wanting, you know, wanting to jump your bones and everything. But just, you know, they want, like I said, this, you know, very soon they're going to decide... They want. They can't hold back this passion any longer. They know it may cause red flags here, but they want to spend time with you, and they're really optimistic about you being the one. Yeah. They definitely want... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's you know you might you go red flags red flags they know they know that that's that's their approach yeah, you know but yeah they wor they're worried that you're not going to see that they they want something real with you because of the way they approach you mm. yeah that forgiveness card that's yeah 
the, they've just got to accept that that's the only they cannot change the way they approach you. They just hope you can forgive them because they do want a healthy relationship with you. All right. Let's get a message for you, Aquarius, from the universe. One card for Aquarius from the universe, please. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay. So it says, try to look at things more from a feeling level. What is, in your, what is your heart saying? If you look at life purely through logic, you will always get to a point where it seems to make no sense. True wisdom and understanding reside in the heart. Okay. So, yeah. Try to look at things more from a feeling level. Because that's what this person is. Coming through with a, a lot of romantic feelings. Very strong romantic feelings. And that seems to be the dominant thing for them here. But yeah, it, if you try and be too logical with this, it's it's not going to make any sense to you. So... Trust what's in your heart here, Dal. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Life is a cycle of changing seasons. Let us welcome each new season and surrender the past with grace. Let us remember that nothing is ever lost, for all exists eternally within our heart. Okay, so, you know, life is a cycle of changing seasons. So, you know... Things change. Welcome welcome the new season and surrender the past. Yeah, just because someone's been, you know, come in with all this passionate energy and they've just turned out to be a player or a narcissist or whatever, negative, yeah, don't let that taint this energy that's coming in here. Yeah, like I said, just watch their actions. Yeah, they might be very passionate and flirty with you, but are they flirty with other people? Are they disregarding you? Are they being disrespectful? Um, or are they just really passionate and into you? Yeah, look at all the other aspects of the situation as well. And the feelings, you know. Tap into the feelings that they're projecting to you. What are you feeling about this? So, you know. Welcome this new energy. Hey, if you just take it as <coughs> a compliment that someone is so passionate about you. And if you're in for a good time, then, <laughs> you, you know, go for it. Um, hey, but, that you know, this... Just treat it as that and just see what happens. Yeah. But they um I can tell you that, that yeah, they're looking for more. They know that what they're they're worried that you're not gonna see that they're looking for something long term because they are very passionate about you. Alrighty then. Well, that's your eating, Aquarius. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right. Well, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, yeah, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. Enjoy this. This is nice. It's nice. It, it, yeah. It does feel very nice energy. Yeah. All right. All the best. I'll catch you later.